What's up YouTube, it's James Q Quick from Learn, Build, Teach, and today I wanna to tell you about the five hottest Visual Studio Code themes from 2018 that you should be using in 2019. So guys, this is the first video to kick off the new year 2019. I've got some new audio equipment that I'm excited to be recording on for the first time, so hopefully the audio sounds good. If not, leave some feedback or something in the comments below. So today we're gonna to be talking about hot uh, themes in Visual Studio Code that you guys can use in 2019. And uh, we've got five different ones that we're gonna go through. And I just wanna first uh, mention, if you, if you don't know how to get to Visual Studio Code themes, uh, they're just extensions or plugins that you can get from the Visual Studio Code Marketplace. So marketplace.visualstudio.com and then uh, click the Visual Studio Code tab there and then you can give a search. So Night Owl, for example, is one of the ones that we're gonna take a look at here. And uh, know that you can also come into Visual Studio Code itself and open up the extensions tab and then give a search for the same thing, so Night Owl. And, and you can pull up the documentation uh, basically inside of Visual Studio Code or in the VS Code Marketplace online as well. So uh, before we get started, I also want to mention if you are looking for more content on Visual Studio Code, you wanna learn the ins and outs and how to use it, uh, I've got a course on Udemy now called Learn Visual Studio Code, which will teach you everything you need to know about the most popular editor in web development. All right, so enough with the uh, pitches for you guys, let's get to some themes. So what we're gonna talk about first is Night Owl. Night Owl is created by Sarah Drasner, who uh, works at Microsoft, I think started there in the last year. She's one of the most well-respected CSS uh, people in the community, super popular on Twitter, super popular and knowledgeable and all those things just in general. And so she came out with Night Owl, which, uh, which really got super popular in a short amount of time and has a lot of consideration for accessibility for people with color blindness and low light circumstances, things like that. So it looks great. Uh, so if, if, you, um, if you're installing a theme for the first time, I've already got it installed. You'd basically just click this install button. VS Code would ask you to restart. You go ahead and restart and there you go. So to activate a theme, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can come to the settings button down here in the bottom left and you can click on color theme. And this will give you a drop down of all the themes that you have. So I can search here, Night Owl, and as I uh, switch through these, it'll just kind of go ahead and pick up that theme. So if I go ahead and enter this, this is really something that you wanna be using when you're staying up late coding, you're really the night owl, you're working on your, your super cool project and you're staying up late and all that kind of stuff. And that's kind of the vibe that you get here. It looks really great. Uh, again, the contrast is really nice, accessibility, stuff like that. And Sarah Drasner is one of the most well-respected uh, people out there with, with making things look good and doing CSS and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so highly recommend checking out this theme by someone who, um, who really has earned the downloads and things that she's gotten along the way. So speaking of Microsoft, uh, Sarah Drasner is on a team with John Papa at Microsoft who came out with a theme called Winter is Coming. Now we are in January, which is still the winter months. We've got a couple more months of winter ahead of us. And I thought this one was pretty cool, pun intended, uh, a theme with a light and dark theme. So I've got this one installed. I'll bring it up for you to see as well. Choose my theme here, color theme, and then choose Winter is Coming. So here's the uh, the dark theme. I think the light theme is uh, is really cool. I don't know that I would use this on a regular basis. I think it's really cool, especially given the idea that it's like wintry and it's got the blues and the whites and you think snow and all that kind of stuff. It just looks really cool. And then kind of the opposite of that is the dark blue version, which is a little bit similar to what we just saw with uh, Night Owl, where it gives you this really, really dark blue contrasted with some light blue. And it kind of gives you like an idea of winter at night, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so I like this one as well. Again, John Papa, super, super popular in the community, super, super well-respected. This is one you guys definitely want to check out as well. So another one we've got coming up, number three here, is Shades of Purple. And this um, this was created by Ahmad Awise. I'm not sure I'm going to pronounce his last name uh, correct there, which I apologize for in advance. But he spent a lot of time with VS Code this past year. And one of the things I want to share, even though it uh, even though it kind of conflicts with what I just kind of promoted my course about, he's got a VS Code Power User course out as well. Uh, this one's going to be um, this one's more more expensive than mine, but it's probably going to have a little bit extra content in there. And this guy has been around and been a community member for a while and has had a lot of success. So definitely worth worth checking out if you're looking for additional resources on learning VS Code as well. So his uh, shades of purple, let me go ahead and activate this. 
Uh, another way you can do this, by the way, is open up the command palette with um, command shift P or control shift P on windows and then uh, choosing shades of purple. And obviously, like it says, it's different shades of purple, but I think it actually works pretty well. It looks pretty cool. And let me open up uh, an HTML page here or a JavaScript page. Uh, so it's obviously got different colors in it, but uses a lot of different shades and purples. And I really like this one. I'm really thinking about using this one for a little bit um, outside of my default one and just kind of seeing what it's like to use on a, on a more regular basis. So that one is pretty sweet. Uh, shades of purple, go and check that one out as well. So a couple of ones that were new to me, uh, one is Rain Glow. And this was uh, me just kind of asking on Twitter to see what people are using. A couple of people responded with Rain Glow and it's got lots of, um, lots of uh, support, lots of downloads, but also lots of different combinations of colors within the theme. So if I uh, kind of come up here to color theme again and choose uh, just search Rain Glow, notice there's a ton of different things some of them, the light ones are probably blinding you guys like it is me, so I apologize. But there's tons of different versions of this thing that you guys can look at. So if you're interested in downloading an extension that will give you lots of different options that you can play with, highly recommend this one. Uh, there's lots of different ones. Obviously, I'm gonna kind of scroll through here. You can kind of pick and choose one of the color things that you like and looks best for you. Uh, and you can use one for a day, swap it out the next day and try another one, which I think is pretty cool. So definitely, uh, if you're kind of looking for one to explore a couple of different options with, uh, check out Wranglow. So the last one we're going to look at is Noctis. And I've got this one installed as well, but I can search it over here. Oops, just so you guys can see. Noctis here. Uh, looks like I haven't reloaded since I installed it. So let me actually reload VS Code. It's going to come up. And this is how fast it is to reload uh, VS Code with a new feature jumped in here. You guys don't need to see that or this one down here. So let's go ahead and, and go to theme and then let's choose Noctis. And they've got uh, six different ones here that you guys can look at as well. Uh, so not quite as many as the previous Wranglow one, but several that you can play with that all look really nice as well. So there's a really, really bright one here. Uh, I think Lux is probably Latin for light, something like that, um, which makes sense because it's a light theme. Uh, the Uva is kind of similar to the shades of purple. I like the purple. I like the combinations of that. Uh, you'll see a lot of these dark themes with high contrast use a lot of the, the dark blues and purples and combinations of, of lighter blues that kind of play off the darker uh, light blue and purple that play off the dark blue and purple. So a couple of different ones that you can look at. This one actually is pretty similar to the one I use. And uh, you, just, you can just kind of go through there and look at the ones you like. So in general, themes in VS Code are super, super easy to install, to look at them, use them for a day. Obviously you can uh, just kind of tab through them and see what they look like. Um, just so you guys are aware, I use the uh, Cobalt 2 color theme from West Boss. Um, and I've used this basically since I started with VS Code. I love it. I use it 95% uh, of my time. But just kind of doing this video and exploring some of the other ones, I've thought about doing, uh, trying out some of the other themes for an extended period of time. So there's tons of different ones out here. Do, do a search. If you don't like the ones that I've shown, do a search for themes on the marketplace and you'll find a ton of different ones that you can try out. No sweat, but these are five of the hottest ones that were either released in 2018 or at the end of 2017. So just in the last year or so, these have gotten really, really popular and they're definitely worth a look. And they're some of the hottest themes for Visual Studio Code that you guys should be looking at in 2019. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned on the channel for more content coming up this year. It's gonna be a big one with lots of different videos. I'm curious, what are you guys using in Visual Studio Code? What themes are you using? Are you new to themes? If you check one out, what do you like? What do you dislike? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in future videos. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and you can check out my newsletter on learnbuildteach.com to get updates on the latest content as it comes out. Thanks for watching.